let's find the derivative of the function g of x equals 1 plus 2x times 2 minus x plus x squared. Okay, so again, we're going to have to multiply this out. We're going to have to distribute to figure out um, a better representation of this function so that way we can apply the power rule. Okay, so let's get ourselves set up to do that. Okay, so I'm going to multiply first the 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times negative x is negative x. 1 times x squared is x squared. 2x times 2 is 4x. 2x times negative x is negative 2x squared. And 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. Let's combine our like terms. Okay, I only have one constant. Okay, so that's taken care of. Negative x plus 4x, those are like terms. So that's going to be a positive 3x. Okay, got those taken care of. I have x squared and negative 2x squared. That'll give me negative 1x squared. Those are taken care of. And then plus 2x to the third power. Okay, so I have multiplied out g of x. Now it's just a matter of finding the derivative using the power rule. All right, first term, derivative of a constant is 0. Second term. Derivative of 3 to the x, or 3x to the first power, well, 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract 1 from the exponent, I end up with x to the 0 power. I can leave that x to the 0 power off. That 0 means that there are no x's being multiplied. Okay, here, this term here, negative x squared, understood negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 x to the, subtract 1 from the exponent, 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's x to the first power, but I'll leave that 1 off because it's understood. Final term, positive 2x to the third power, 2 times x, I'm sorry, 2 times 3 is 6, subtract 1 from the exponent, 3 minus 1 is 2. So there we go. After all of that, we have g prime of x equals 3 minus 2x plus 6x squared.